That is the big news that's coming in. We'll try and get you the latest on that news as well. Filmmaker Lena Manimekal, I remember, has been facing complaints and FIRs over the past few days by people who have said and are claiming that this poster of one of her documentary films uh, offended their religious sentiments where Goddess Kali is seen smoking a cigarette, also a pride flag in her hand. But most people who have objected to the poster have said, what was the need to show Hindu Goddess Kali smoking a cigarette and would you take that creative license and liberty with any other religious figure? Now, this has become a massive debate across India, but while the BJP has also spoken up, TMC MP also spoke up, remember, Mahua Moitra, but there have been mainly the anger against the filmmaker, who's also still defiant, who's even saying that I, while I fa I'm facing threats, but I will stay brave and I will not let India change. Uh, the manner in which it is changing, I will continue to speak for as long as she can. So she's defiant. Remember the Aga Khan Museum where the film was set to be screened also gave out uh, a statement that they regret of how sentiments have been offended. But for now it appears the matter has now been taken to the court. The Delhi court, the Cesari court has sent a summon to the filmmaker. She needs to be present as it appears on the 6th of August. This is after complaints and FRs were filed against her in different states across India. Remember, it's already been a few weeks that uh, this controversy has become not only about creative license and liberty, but a political showdown, but also in the backdrop of uh, blasphemy issues, the beheading, the threats that took place in Udaipur over the Prophet remarks. Many are making that comparison that would you take that liberty with the other religion and that only is taken with Hindu religion because it does not lead to any serious consequences. Let's go across uh, to our legal correspondent uh, Nalini Sharma on the same. Nalini, uh, T. Sazari court has sent a summon. Is this uh, after a specific complaint on FIR that was filed against her? How has the matter reached the court over this filmmaker? Well, Pooja, we are given to understand that a suit was filed before the T. Sazari court by one person named Raj Gaurav who, given to understand from the copy of the order that we've accessed, seems to be an advocate who was appearing uh, in person before the Tesasari court. And what he's asked for from the court is for a stay to be granted on the release of this movie and further for an explanation to be sought from uh, the director uh, and the producer on exactly why they depicted uh, the goddess Kali in that way. So what the Tesasari court has held in this matter is that no orders, especially regarding an injunction or a stay as is being sought in this case, case can be granted without first hearing the opposite side which is the defendant in this case uh, Lina Manikilai and that is precisely why they have summoned her for the 6th of August to appear before the Tisazari court and now state her point of view on this entire uh, suit that has been filed by Raj Gaurav before the Tisazari court. What remains to be seen though is as to whether or not these orders will be uh, complied with and whether Lina will actually appear before the Tisazari court on the does, 6th does of August have to yeah. Nalini because uh, according to our information she's based in Canada so at this point with this first summon that usually comes uh, will that be mandatory whether she can or will not come is another but you think it would be a part of the protocol here well, Pooja, considering that official orders have now been issued by the court, Lena will have to make some sort of appearance before mm. the Tisazari court, either in person or through her counsel. So she can also get a counsel in New Delhi who can then represent her before the court and either seek more time for her to come in person or state the reasons as to why she is unable to appear in person, like you correctly pointed out, because she is out of the country. So there might be some leniency that the court might give her in case she makes such a representation, but to not respond to the court at yes. all and for let this for this to go uh, absolutely unanswered is not an option that is available to Lena at this point because of official summons have been issued by the Tisazari court so she will have to respond to them and either seek more time appear before the court or give reasons as to why she can't make that physical appearance. Nalini, thank you so much. Keep tracking all the latest. So a summon is being sent by the Tisazari court to filmmaker Lena Mani Mekalai over a smoking goddess Kali poster of one of her films.